Hello and welcome to a video from FilmsByChris.com. That's Chris the K. I'm Chris the K. Today we're going to be creating a little script that will search through all the packages on your system, for your system, uh, using FCF. I uh, recently was watching a video where a guy was reviewing an Arch-based distribution and he liked that they had, you know, lots, lots of distributions have their own little package manager, which really is just using the shell back end and then have their own front end. But this was basically using the shell, but it was using FCS to search the package. And I thought, hey, I've done stuff like that before, but let me do one similar to what he did. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna jump in and uh, it could be done as one liner. Really, we're gonna write a script that's gonna end up being three lines. Let's go ahead and have a look at it. So I'm, he was on an Arch system. I'm on a Debian based system. So apt would be one of your default package managers. And I, if I did apt, cache and I type in uh, PKG names, it will list all the packages that are available to us, which is great. Now let's take that and pipe it into FCF. Now we have our packages and we can search through them. I can type in like GIMP or I can type in Blender. And again, this is a fuzzy search so I can mistype stuff, just get it close and it will find what we're looking for. That is awesome. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and wrap that in quotation marks dollar sign and parentheses, and we can put that, actually before we do that, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's do a little bit more with this command before we throw it into a variable, okay? So again, we get this, but the user doesn't know what to do. Let's give them a prompt. So we're gonna say dash dash prompt, and we're gonna say equals uh, select a, select, let's, we're gonna say packages, because we're gonna select more than one package in a moment, which is to install. And I'm gonna do that. Now when we run this, we have a nice little prompt down here at the bottom. And of course we can again, blend like that to go Blender and it returns Blender. Let's go ahead and take that a step further because we don't wanna just search through the packages. We want to see information about the package that we are looking at before we selected. So FZF actually has an option. We can say dash dash preview. If I could sell preview, right, preview. And when we do that, we've got to give it a command. So I'm going to use the apt command. I'm going to say show, and then I'm going to give it these curly braces. What that does is as we scroll through the list before we even select something, it's going to pass whatever selected to this command. And this is going to be the package. So this is going to show information about the package. When we do that, now you can see we have our list on the left and we have information about the package on the right. I can go through this and as I scroll through different things on the list, we can see the package name, the package version, what section it's in, who the maintainer is, so forth and so on. That's great, but that's kind of wide information. We're looking at things vertically here. Let's go ahead and split the screen horizontally instead. So we're going to add to our uh, FCF command. We're going to say dash dash preview dash window. Ah. And in quotations here, we're just going to say top. You can say, uh, I think down or top. Down would put it on the bottom. Top is going to put it on top. When I run that, now the information's up at the top. But uh, it's getting cut off a little bit. So again, I can type in like Blender. It's going to show the information for that. Let's give that a little bit more room. We're going to say colon, and I'm going to say 75%. So the preview of the package will take up 75% of the screen where the list we're searching through will just be the bottom 25%. We do that, and as you can see, we have that. And I can type in something like GIMP, right? I misspelled GIMP. Still misspelled it, there we go. Um, we can type in something like X term, right? And we're seeing real time information about the package before we select it. Now, again, we hit enter here and it's gonna return whatever we had selected. But let's say we wanna install multiple packages. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add, I'll add it right here, dash M to our FCF command. So again, I can hit enter here, I can type in X term, and I can do that, but I can also type in something like X term and hit tab and you can see it marks that. I can then backspace and I can type in blender. I can tab to select that and I can type in GIMP and hit tab. And now when I hit enter, it returns all three of those, which is great, but I want them all on one line with spaces. So let's go ahead and just pipe this into TR. We're gonna say turn all new line characters into space characters. So TR is gonna transform uh, a single character. In this case, we're saying new line, backslash N is for new line. And we're gonna make them spaces. So now when I type in X term, I'm just gonna select a few random packages here. And of course you can always unselect a package. Like if I want to unselect term, just hit tab on it again. But when I hit enter, it then returns all the packages I had selected. Now, we just want to throw that into a variable. So we will run that same command. At this point, 
we'll run it, we'll put it in quotations with the dollar sign and parentheses. That means take whatever the output of this command is and we're gonna put it into a variable. We'll call it package equals. Now I can select a couple different packages and when I hit enter, we don't see anything, but I can echo out package the variable. Great, and it shows those. Now we could take that package and we can say something like sudo apt install and that will install or ask to install all those packages. I'm gonna hit, go ahead and type in my password now just so we can see it. I'm gonna hit cancel because I don't wanna actually install all those. But we don't wanna run that command unless a package is returned. Now if we do this dollar sign package, I can say ampersand ampersand echo yes pipe pipe echo no. So what's happening here is it's checking if this variable has anything in it. If it does, it's gonna echo yes, which currently it does, but if it doesn't, it's gonna echo no. Boom, yes, right? So we'll run our command here again. This time, I'll just control C, I won't select anything. Now, the package variable is empty. If we run this command again, it says no, okay? So let's go ahead and I actually have a final script here because we're kind of getting to the end of this, but we have our package command, our variable here with our command. And then we're doing the right here, we're saying, okay, is there anything in that package uh, variable? If there is, then we're gonna ask the, <clears throat> excuse me, ask the user if we wanna install that package or packages. Here we're saying dash n, that means the read command is going to accept only one character and then continue. So you don't even have to hit enter. The P is just for the prompt here. Now you'll see here I say, Y slash capital N. You may or may not know this, but it's kind of standard that if you give an option like this, yes or no, or whatever your options are, whichever one is capitalized is the default, okay? So here, uh, we're gonna put whatever the user puts into a variable called install. The next line, it's gonna say, okay, if install equals Y, then do the install. Otherwise, we're just getting to the end of the script. There's nothing there. So let's go ahead and run this script and see how it works. We run this. I can select a couple of packages. Like I said, xterm. I'll type in nmap and gimp. And then I'll hit enter. And it says, oh, I, I didn't tab on gimp, so it's not there. But install term nmap. And now if I just hit enter, it's not going to do anything. But if I run that command again, and again, I'll just say gimp tab, xterm tab, and... Um, and map tab. Now I'll hit enter. It's like install these packages. If I hit Y, then it's without even hitting enter, it's just going to continue. And all these are at the newest uh, version on my system. So there's nothing to update, but it would install or update them if there was. So that's that script. Again, there'll be a link in the description to this script. Uh, I hope you learned something new. We did a lot of fun things with FZF. Uh, so go ahead and check out the links in the description. I hope you found this useful. And as always, I hope that you have a great day day.